Welcome to Transurfing TV. I am Renee Garcia, and today our topic du jour, frailing. It's a big one. I want to first state for the newcomers, I know there's a little bit of confusion because we say frailing, and then we say the soul frail. And I know in one of my past videos, I actually spelled frailing wrong. I spelled it with an E. So people were like, what the hell? There's frailing, which is trying to influence another person. And then there's the soul frail. I'm confused. So frailing with an A is the act of frailing another person. This is you influencing the other person via their intention or their will and you letting go of yours. And then the soul frail, which is spelled another way with an E, that's a completely different thing. That is your little, your little code of who you are, the, the code of your soul, really. So two different things, but I hope that clarifies. So today we are going to talk about how to frail, what frailing is. It's a crucial it's a crucial concept in the transserving modality because it really helps us take back our energy. A lot of energy is lost trying to deal with other people. Interpersonal relationships can be more depleting than anything else. So in a way, this is almost one of the most powerful concepts in the transserving modality because Without energy, without a proper amount of energy, you are not able to create your own reality, right? You um, have a lot more energy when you know how to frail properly, and you it's like a it's like a it's like a double win. One, you get people more easily to give you what you want, and at the same time, you're keeping more of your energy for yourself. So this actually grows your personal power and it grows your personal power substantially. That's why frailing really is something that should be learned and practiced and should be a pivotal part of your transurfing, uh, your transurfing practice. So if you did not watch my video on how to influence another person, I would definitely go back and take a look at that. Hopefully it's aired already. I know these sometimes I'll recommend a video and it hasn't aired yet, but influencing another person really has to do with you playing a slide of you getting what you want and then inviting the other person in to your slide, helping you achieve your intention. Now, the way, the easiest way that this is done is by you, by you playing in to their inner intention, okay? So I'll get into an example. Actually, Vadim gives a really, really good one in the book, and I will give that in a moment, but we're going to go over first some of the points of frailing. First, I want to start with the fact that it's a healthy visualization. You don't want to start with a healthy visualization, rather. You don't want to frail people in a negative way. This is black magic. This is witchcraft. It is possible 100%, but we're talking about the white magic here, white witchcraft, and pulling people in to a scenario of our choosing that is not only good for you, but is good for them too. So first off, another, another question that I've encountered frequently is people asking, well, is frailing manipulation? Is it manipulating somebody? No, it's not manipulation. What manipulation is, is when you give the essence or you give the idea that somebody's going to get something in return for them giving something to you, and then you don't give them what they are expecting. That's manipulation. That's, that's, that's really being, um, th that, that's you misleading someone, right? In the direction of your inner intention. Frailing's totally different. Frailing is the art of the deal, right? Even if it's just in a little moment in your domestic environment with your partner. It is both people walking away feeling satisfied, not one person being satisfied and then the other feeling like they just got taken advantage of and lied to and manipulated and all that stuff. 
So the first, the first point that needs to really be touched on is the, the, the power of not trying to change others or change yourself. Right? This is a big one. Reality transurfing is about releasing yourself, releasing the need to try to control the situation, the narrative, or what is going on with another person. A lot of that is going on right now because of our, our political climate and what's going on socially. Everybody feels the need to try to convince, well, I don't want to say everybody, I don't, and I'm sure a lot of you don't, but there are a lot of people that do, right, to convince somebody that what they believe is bad, or you're wrong, or you need to change, or you don't get it, or you... And this is just a huge waste of energy. Talk about meta death, right? Meta power death. You are giving away so much battling your world, trying to get others to adhere to your ideas or what you need to see play out. This is inner intention, 100%. Two talking heads on the news, screaming and yelling back and forth. This is the antithesis of Fraley. This is both people trying to convince the other with inner intention. And look what happens. Nobody gets anywhere. And I'm sure those dudes are super depleted at the end of the day. Imagine you scream and yell with inner intention for a living. That is, oh God, what a freaking nightmare. So don't try to change yourself. Don't try to change others. This is you relaxing into you. This is you relaxing into letting somebody else be themselves as well. Personal power and influence are proportional to free energy. I know this is a reiteration of what I just said, but it's so, so, so true that your personal power and your, your influence that you have on your reality are directly correlated to the amount of energy you have. The less energy you have, the less powerful you are. The more inner intention you use trying to change others, the less powerful you are as an individual. So your personal power and influence are proportional to your free energy. The act of frailing is about keeping your energy for yourself rather than battling yourself, others, the external environment. It's just bad, bad, bad news. So getting into the act of actual frailing, you're using other people's inner intention to achieve your goals. So this is, and I'll give the example that Vadim uses in the book. So he uses an example of a woman that's in a relationship with a man and she wants to get married, right? She wants to get married and she decides that it's already past the time that they should be married and she starts to, she starts to bitch, right? She starts to, starts to bitch at him and why aren't we married and why or haven't you made the commitment and why, why, you know, I need you to change, I want this. This is you going about trying to influence your reality via your inner intention when you act like this. When you try to get somebody to adhere to your version of reality via your will and ego. Now, if the woman were smart, she would have took a step back and asked herself, what is his inner intention, right? Not what's my inner intention, what's his inner intention? And how can I tap into his inner intention to get what it is I'm looking for? So in this scenario, it could have been realizing that his inner intention is that he really loves his freedom right? He really loves his freedom. So she could maybe have participated in letting the dude be more free, letting him come and go, letting him go on his fishing trips with his buddies, letting him go do what he needs to do and giving him all the freedom that he needs because that's his inner intention. And in doing this, you can still drop subtle little hints. You can still let your intentions be known, but not try to proceed via Via, you know inner intention letting their inner intention run letting your intentions be known much more of a possibility I think even in the story the guy ended up saying hey forget you I'm not gonna marry you when she was using her inner intention so oftentimes when we use our inner intention we get the opposite of our results this is importance elevated importance balancing forces 
Great example, right? She wanted to get married. Her importance levels were high. She used inner intention. She created an energetic imbalance in her situation, in her scenario. And balancing forces came in and actually gave her the opposite of what her intention is. Beautiful representation because I guarantee a lot of women, including myself, have done this crap right? So it's a good one because you're like, oh yeah, that's exactly why that happened. So you're using other people's inner intention to achieve your own goals. It's, it's pretty simple actually. And if you're having a challenging time realizing what the inner intention is of the other person, um, outer intention can help you realize the inner intention of another person. This is you tuning out of yourself, your wants, your desires, tuning more into the other person and tuning more into your environment and outer intention will just go, hey, they want this. Or, hey, you need to have, you, you, you can tap into this to get that done, right? Outer intention will give you cues, signs, all the information you need to adjust working from a place of frailing rather than inner intention. To reserve energy, switch your attention from yourself to others. Again, this is energetically so ineffective to be working from a place of inner intention, will, ego, trying to get others to adhere to your script, all that crap. It is exhausting. That's why you see these like, you know, these grinders and these hustler type characters and they're just really, really pushing and trying. Now they can get stuff done oftentimes, all the hustle culture stuff, but I guarantee you these dudes are exhausted. There is a much, much, much easier way. And, but some of the hustlers do know, right? Some hustlers absolutely do know how to use um, the intention of other people to get their intentions met. I actually know a number of these people personally, and I love to watch them work because it's just, it's just an amazing thing when you see someone getting what they want by giving somebody else what they want. It's awesome. So reserve, to reserve energy, switch your attention from yourself to others. And last, a little thing just in gaining people in your favor, over to your favor to sort of like get the situation, this is mainly done professionally, but get the situation primed for you to be able to tap into the inner intention of somebody else uh, to get what you want is to ask the person of a small favor. I know this is a trick that's used across a lot of different modalities, but this is a really beautiful way to, and it doesn't have to be anything big, right? It could even just be asking somebody some advice or doing something that just shows kind of like good faith, right? Good faith, you're asking for somebody or giving a small favor, you know, accepting a small favor as well. Small little favors are a good way to open up that, that path to being able to see what the other person's inner intention is and tapping into that to get what it is you are looking for in the equation. So I hope I kind of covered frailing for the most part as best as I can. Any questions, definitely ask me in the comments below and I will be more than happy to answer. And remember to like this video, comment below, subscribe, do all the good stuff to my channel, and thank you so much for watching my video, everyone.